This short documentary forms part of the project 30 at 20, The Mill, by the Gabriel Caruana Foundation. The documentary encapsulates the research carried out since 2020 on The Mill, Art, Culture and Craft Center in Birkirkara, which was opened as an independent contemporary art and culture center in June 1990 by Gabriel and Mary Rose Caruana. The project has led to the development of a publication entitled Looking Back, Looking Forward. We wanted to create this defined space for artists, but not only for artists, for people um, to engage with artists. He wanted really to invite people in, making it as, as, as friendly as possible, so this relationship that he wanted to build. The, uh, the earliest memory of the mill was, um, uh, was basically the launch. Um, so we, I remember with my sister, um, we were around about eight or nine. Um, and I remember clearly the launch happening. There were a lot of people closing the street. Um, it was an air of festivity. Then coming inside, it's a new like For us, it was a new thing, a new building. Um, uh, and exploring the, the rooms, uh, seeing the different artworks and, and exhibits here. Um, uh, so it was very exciting for us. The mill, since 1990, since it opened in 1990 by Gabriel Caruana and his wife Mary Rose Caruana, became a hub for creativity, for artists, not just visual artists, but also performing artists, writers, poets, and anyone who wanted to join into the creative process. So basically what Gabriel did, what his ethos for this place was, was to create this um, creative artistic hub as well as a social hub. I think that's where he mostly contributed, um, the fact that the the mill was has been open since uh, since the past 30 years and there was a, an ongoing program of activity so um, a number of emerging artists had um, exhibited here um, he used to have a, a permanent exhibition on rotation um, so he would um, uh, curate himself as well and also he had uh, a number of activities such as workshops, happenings um, occurring at the mill and, and also poetry night. So we had the um, Aqdat al Malti used to come here and organize activities over here. So, I mean, th these are examples to show how Gabriel Caruana worked in the sense he understood that creativity wasn't something formal or something which was structured, but something that involved ex constant exchange, sharing, um, international exchange as well, that was very important. In fact, um, Gabriel underlined that this, the mill had to be a place um, that would one day hopefully compete with international uh, ceramic museums. But the mill wasn't only created or established um, for ceramic arts. Of course, the ceramic arts were something very central to Gabriel Caruana's work. He used to travel a lot um, regularly. Um, um, and he was really inspired by these places. So in, in Faenza, um, he, he had been going there practically once or twice a year since the 1960s. And um, I think it was this idea of um, spaces providing um, a place for artists uh, um, and recognizing the importance of artists within communities. The 1990s were quite an interesting decade because a lot of things were changing. I mean, you had the beginning of artists exploring new media, installation, 
vid even video art. So there was this, this uh, surge of new activity, which then continued to, to grow uh, in the early 2000s with groups like Start. They go back to the late 1940s, actually. But uh, you had this uh, collective um, activity based around contemporary art. So the mill was established in the midst of all of this change, basically. So Rafael approached me a year ago to try to start building the archive of the mill. Um, so basically this project about the mill's 30-year history has consisted of um, finding documents, finding photographs, newspaper cuttings, talking to people who had some involvement with the development of the mill's history to be able to um, piece together this archive, pretty much putting things together, so, sorting things out. I'd, I'll call it a bit of <laughs> um, archival spring cleaning, really. I have to underline that this is just the beginning of such a project. So the whole point was basically about putting things together. And the publication is an introduction to work that needs to be done because one uh, firstly the mill is still um, growing so this is not a, a finite project it's something which is still developing and so the, the character of the mill obviously continues to develop along uh, as, as time progresses another part the other part of all this is that uh, we still need to sit down and analyze all this data and contextualize it further the mill then is not just about Gabriel Caruana, it's also about the development of the local art scene and the development of a creative hub, which is also a crucial thing that we need to understand. Back in 2010-12, my dad had a number of complications, health complications, and we uh, obviously were worried, sick about the situation and uh, we really wanted to somehow help. We knew how how active he was and how he wanted to continue working from the mill. For us, it, did, it really didn't make sense to um, uh, to have this place closed and that's it and then turned into something else. For us, it really embodies his life's work. That's where the initial discussions took off um, when we started discussing having the foundation, developing a foundation. Back in 2016, it was launched and we developed a series of small projects to, to, test, to test them out. So we, we, we see um, how we're collaborating with different people um, and that's how it started. And then uh, um, Elise joined uh, the team and uh, we started developing maybe larger projects, um, developing our strategy um, and, and kind of refining what, what, we're, what we're about. Back in 2019, Rafael and myself sat down to reevaluate and discuss um, monitor the first three years from the setting up of the foundation. We basically started thinking um, in order to create and project um, this strategy for not only another three years, but also eventually also for another 10. The strategy itself builds up on a lot of different principles and uh, values which were projected by Gabriel Caruana himself. First and foremost, um, uh, to Gabriel, community was a very important element. Additionally, there was also um, elements such as um, collaboration, innovation, experimentation. Firstly, these can be seen in a lot of his works, but um, uh, following this re-evaluation re that Rafael and myself did in 2019, we also thought of the prospect of reintroducing them and including them in the strategy for the upcoming three years. So he really did want to establish some sort of institution. Obviously, his way of doing so was in this, a very organic 
way, a very grassroots way. That's why the mill is plays such an important function, because even though he did want to create this infrastructure, it was a very organic infrastructure. It was one where the artists are in constant contact with one another, where the people running the institution, the hub, are the artists themselves, so they become one whole holistic element. That vision which Gabriel Caruana had, and with the little means he had available to him to do this, is one of the most crucial points. In general, most of our projects always try and introduce either one or several of these different um, pillars, values or principles. These are values that ultimately Gabriel himself lived by. The aim of the foundation really is, is to continue with the energy of Gabriel. Um, so we, we really um, want um, the mill to continue um, supporting emerging artists. We want the mill to um, show his works in with different contexts, maybe. Um, and we also want to um, further the, um, uh, the legacy of, of modern and contemporary artists. Firstly, obviously, we would like to increase um, as much as possible the opportunities we provide for various artists and other different collaborators, such as other organizations we work, work with. Um, uh, there are also other projects we want to implement. The most important one is perhaps the actual restoration of the mill itself, such that we create um, different spaces where, which introduce different other uses, such as workspaces for artists, extended exhibition spaces, a studio space for residencies, um, potentially also extending or extension of the piazza on the roof itself. So yes, we have quite a number of ideas in mind and we're currently working on putting all this um, together in order to um, project the mill um, to another 30 years, 40 years, whatever it may be. I know that there's a lot of talk about legacy. Um, I, I frame it really as, as energy. So why, why, are we, um, why are we doing this? Um, why are contemporary artists and modern artists important? Um, what have they contributed um, in, our, in our lives, in our culture? I think uh, such places to, to, foster, to be able to foster their identity need to create long-term projects in the sense they create an infrastructure which involves research with creative collaboration so that uh, the artists who are coming here, exhibiting here, are not just using the mill as a space, but they are engaging with the history of the mill, the memory of the mill, but also contributing to that history. It's not just about having a list of exhibitions, but also to um, transmit the, the type of the ethos of, of, of the mill, um, the type of work that has been exhibited, and the type of activities, um, and, and its role. Um, so it's not, um, it's, it's not a, a, a museum, it's not a gallery, and people ask, but what, what is it really? Um, uh, I think it's a combination of different things, and it's, a, it's more about the experience um, that people have here. Um, so if it's um, maybe a workshop, and uh, we have uh, a number of participants that are here and, and are creating. I think it's that experience that the mill is. It's um, coming in and having a chat. It's uh, coming in and discovering that you actually like um, contemporary art or you actually can understand what abstract art is and the feeling. Um, so it's not just about a list of activities, it's the experiences that we all have and we all had and hopefully we will have in the future. <laughs>